So I'm working in Canvas and I'd like to embed another website so that I can keep everything in one spot. This makes everything more compact, makes it easier to access, and it also limits distractions. In order to do that, the easiest way is to set up your page so you know exactly where you are going to want your iframe to go. For me, I generally try and get it at the bottom. If it's going to be in the middle, I find that it's easiest to get to that middle point, do the embedding, and then go on and continue. That's especially if you're not familiar with HTML code. If you are, then it's easier to get to where you want to be. But for the sake of this video, we are assuming you know little, if any, HTML. So I'm going to have it go right here. Now I need to find my article or whatever website I want to use. Remember for iframing in Canvas, I can only use something with an HTTPS. So that S stands for secure. So this article will work. So I'm just going to copy this entire article. I'm going to copy it, control C. And then I'm going to come over here to my iframe generator. So you can use this one, you can do a Google search and find one. I'm just going to paste my code in here. Now I want the height to be a little bit bigger so there's slightly less scrolling. So I'm going to come up here and change that to 600. Then I'm going to come down here and generate. I click on this. I'm going to copy this. Now I'm coming back over to Canvas. I'm going to click over here on HTML editor. I click on that. I scroll down to the bottom. I press paste. That's all I have to do. Now if I come back to my rich content editor, you're going to see here I've got a gray screen. So that's my content. Just like a video or anything else, it's not going to show what the actual content is until I'm in the view version, not the edit version. So I've got all these extra spaces I want to get rid of. I'd also like this centered just to make it look a little nicer. I can also, even though I had already set up how large I wanted it to be, if you think once you get it in here it's too big or too small, you can adjust quite easily. Now I'm going to save and publish. I scroll down and here's my article.